Hi, in this video I'm looking at solving these two differential equations dy dx is equal to 5x minus h all on y cubed plus 3 and dy dx equals 3y minus 5 all times 6x plus 7. Now these differential equations have both x and y's in them on the right hand side but they are in a way that they are separable. I can separate out the variables. And so these are what we call differential equations of the form dy dx is some function of x times some function of y with separable variables. And so the way we approach doing these is to separate the variables out if they're not already and then get all the y's on one side and all the x's on the other side, integrate both sides and then sort out whatever we end up with. So let's have a look at doing that for part a. So we have dy dx equals 5x minus 8 on y cubed plus 3. Now to separate out these two and get y's on one side and the x's on the other, if I multiply both sides by y cubed plus 3, so that'll bring the y cubed plus 3 up the top here in front of the dy, and then bring the dx over, so that's going to have our 5x minus 8 in front of the dx. So I've multiplied both sides by y cubed plus 3 and both sides by dx, and so that's given me this, and so now I can integrate both sides because they are only in terms of y here and only in terms of x here. So doing this, y cubed integrates to y to the 4 divided by 4 plus 3 which integrates to 3y and that's going to be equal to, well the integral of 5x is 5x squared or the new power 2 minus 8 x and then of course I've got to include a plus c. Now this equation is going to be really hard to isolate a single y to have y equals stuff in terms of x so I'm going to write it as an implicit function. So I subtract the 5x squared over 2 and plus 8x to both sides and so that's going to get everything to one side except for my constant. So that's going to give us y to the 4 on 4 plus 3y minus of the 5x squared on 2, add on the 8x, and that's going to be equal to c. And that's all I can do with this one because it's hard now to separate and get this as a function of one of these variables equaling the, a function of the other variable. So I'm just going to leave it as an implicit function and if you wanted to try and get back to this derivative you would of course have to derive it implicitly. So let's have a look now at doing part b. Part b, b we have dy dx equals 3y minus 5 outside of 6x plus 7. So if we do the same thing where I can bring this 3y minus 5 over by dividing both sides by 3y minus 5. So that's going to give us a dy over 3y minus 5. And if we multiply both sides by dx, I'm going to have the 6x plus 7 dx. And so now I can integrate both of these. Now integrating the right side is going to be a little bit easier than integrating the left. To do the left, I'm going to do a substitution. So I'm going to let u equal 3y minus 5. And so du dy is just going to be 3. So that means that our dy is going to change to du on 3. And so if I substitute in, that's going to give us the integral of 1 on u multiplied by this, well the dy is going to change to du on 3. This side's going to be so much easier. 6x integrates to 6x squared on 2 and the plus 7 integrates to plus 7x and of course we've got to throw in a plus c. 
Integrating this, well, 1 on u integrates to ln u. And the on3, we're just going to leave as a constant on3. So I have a third out the front. And over this side, the 6 on 2 turns into 3x squared plus 7x, and we've got our plus c. Putting our u back in, and we're going to have 1 third ln of 3y minus 5. And that's going to give us 3x squared plus 7x plus c. So now I want to try and isolate y and get y as a function of x, which we can because I've only got one y in my entire equation. So what I can do is I can multiply both sides by 3, and that'll give us get rid of this fraction of a third here. So we'll have ln of 3y minus 5 equals, well, 3 times 3 is going to give us 6x squared, plus 7 times 3 is going to give us 21x, and we're also going to have plus 3c. So now just tidying this up a little bit, we've, uh, we're going to just keep the ln of 3y minus 5, and the only thing I want to change over this side, we've got our 6x squared, we've got our 21x, but this 3c, I'm just going to change it to plus d, because a constant times that number 3 is just a constant. So we're just going to say that d, which is a new constant, is just our old constant times 3. So we just have another constant. So now I've got this ln that I want to undo. So I'm going to raise both sides to the power of e. So that's going to leave us with 3y minus 5 equals, well, if we raise both sides to the e, I'm going to have e to the 6x squared plus 21x plus d, which we can, of course, rewrite to get e to the d out the front times by e to the 6x squared plus 21x. So now the e to the d is just going to change to a, so we're going to have a e to the, and what we'll do is we'll factorize out the constant 3x that's in both of these. So we'll have 3x outside of 2x plus 7. And we've just got to say where a is e to the d. And of course, we still have our 3y minus 5 on our left hand side. So now I've just got to add 5 to both sides and then divide by 3. So that's going to leave us with 3y equals a e to the 3x outside of 2x plus 7 plus 5. And then we've just got to have a third of it. So y is going to be one third outside of a e to the 3x outside of 2x plus 7 plus 5. And that would mean that we're finally done. So to solve differential equations which have both the variable x and y in them, and usually that's the product of those two functions, we can separate out the two variables and that gives us functions that we can then integrate on their independent variable and then we need to try and get them into some sort of tidy function and sometimes that might mean if i can't separate out the single y i might just need to leave it as an implicit function otherwise i might be able to play around with it a bit and be able to get it to be an actual function of x for y